I've had two different people tell me that this was an old drag racing trick back in the day that they'd put two lower compression pistons in the front because when they checked your compression on your motor, they only checked the front two because that was the easiest ones to get. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Well, I'm back out here in the barn this time. I'm getting the last of the engine pieces ready to where I can get them over to my buddy Stevens to where hopefully uh, tomorrow, today's the fourth, hopefully tomorrow we can pretty much assemble an engine other than uh, the heads. Get the bottom end checked out and make sure we've got all the pulleys and stuff. So I'll bear you the agony of the slow defeat of me in this sandblasting cabinet. I'll just show you the finished product. All right, one piece down. I think that looks pretty good. Sandblasted them, painted them. This right here is actually some just some primer, some black <clears throat> epoxy type primer until I decide exactly what I want to do with the uh, pulley color and all that stuff like that. See all the little time and marks and everything on it? Come out pretty nice. Now on to the rest of it. Yard sale find. I've been using this stuff forever. All right, if you watched any of my videos at all, you know that I don't throw nothing away. My wife calls me a hoarder, but I say I'm a keeper of things to use in the future. So, this roll of twine right here, believe it or not, I bought at a yard sale over 10 years ago, and that is what we use to lay out this barn. So I used it laying out this barn and squaring up this big old huge barn. That's all we use right here and some string levels. I've used it to lay out all kinds of stuff on it. And now I just happened to think about it. I didn't video this to start with, but I ran from in my horse barn from a hook to the hook. And I ran it three times and I tied a loop on each end of it at the beginning and the end. So now when I get through with this project right here, all I have to do is, is unhook that hang my wire up my line up on the other side and it'll be ready for me to use again and the twine's holding all this stuff up that i'm painting for my small parts for my little ford motor so there you go we wasn't going to work on this thing on the fourth but then again he called me so here we are all right so i'm back over at my buddy steve's we're working on the motor like i said we're taking this thing apart you know not for trust issues just to make sure and we noticed this the other day and I've asked a few questions about it. So look here, we got one, two, three pistons. The back three are the same. Front piston, got a dish in it. Same way on the other side. We got a dish, flat, flat, flat. So that's what we got now. I've asked some questions, had different opinions and stuff on it. And the thing I've come up with so far is is that a buddy of mine I work with asked a guy that used to do some drag racing and stuff, and he said that was the way that they um, bent the rules in a, uh, a, a stock top that had a compression ratio uh, maximum on it, and they changed the front two pistons out on it. What do you think about that? True or myth? I would really do want to thank my friend Stephen. Here I am, really and truly, I'm just over here in the way, but I do want to try to do as much of this stuff as I can. So he's showing me. I probably took three times as long as he would have took just to poke him out of there by himself, but he's really been helping me out here. So this thing ought to turn out pretty nice. I can't wait to hear it go. Is 
Is there an upside down to these? No, those are not. No. This is two, right? Yeah. Well, we got all the pistons out, but the one that we're using up here on this <clears throat> sitting with the cam and stuff in it may take it on out of there too. So he said everything looked good. Oh, still got the hatch marks and stuff in them, ain't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. That one ain't too. A little surface rust right there, but you can't feel it. But you can't feel it, so not perfect. But you still see some cross hatches in there. So obviously, ain't been just run to death, has it? Doesn't For sure, huh? Doesn't appear to be. Nope. No, look at that. So, yeah, good deal. Good deal. Yeah, they, they air, they don't so, want to duck. So, we took the ring out, set it up in there. Steve says it looks like that's pretty close. Probably a file fit ring, right? It could be. Yeah, I'll check that. We're going to exactly. check that anyway. It's in the ballpark. Yeah, just because we can. So, still, no surprises. It's not all the way down. It's not, you won't get the right gap. So that little dude puts the rings in there in the same place. Puts Look at all this. Puts it in there good and square, yeah. Right? Hey, it's a tool for everything, ain't it? Fourteen thousand, so it's about fifteen on the gap. That may be a hair tight on it. So fourteen thousand, right? Yeah. Okay. This is Steve's homemade tool. He says that thing will squeeze. What'd you say it was? Four hundred fifty pound valve spring on a Hemi. Yeah. So we, this little two eighty nine will probably work. We probably get it off there then. It didn't look like it has no trouble. So here we are going to check these things out and get them cleaned up. The right tool makes every job when you're a mechanic or a body man easier. Even the ones that you make, like this big C-clamp, the one he made here. It absolutely worked great. You probably can't see this here because we're running at jackrabbit speed here, but we did mark every valve, every spring, every retainer, every cap, all that stuff to where it can all go back in the same hole. All right, so far so good. <clears throat> we got one that might be just a smidge loose right here, but what I've decided to do is I'm going to make this everything as good as we can make it, which it's going to be fine for what I'm going to do. Because just like Steve got to talking about, if you start spending 100 here, 100 there, and all that, and everybody knows these old iron heads, you can replace them pretty reasonable and be done with it and change everything on it. So, that being said, and also with if you've watched any videos at all is, my whole idea is, is to build back the car that I had. And this is going to be the closest way that I can do it. So that's what we're going to do. Well, we run out of time. This right here is where he was going to start checking the cam. In the next one, looks like my main job in this motor build is a cleanup fella. Well, I guess the way to find out how good something works is to stress test it. I've been really happy with my little cleaner so far. So we're going to see. I'm going to put it to its test over here. So we'll try the little cleaner out with the Lysol in it. See how it does. I'll let you know. Falcon motor going together, baby.